Hey there good people, it's your Cripple Critic, and this week I want to talk about the PlayStation 4 exclusive game, Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon Zero Dawn is an action RPG in an open world setting. You'll play as Aloy, a tribal woman learning to survive in a world overrun by killer robots. Horizon was made by a design team in the Netherlands that go by the name Guerrilla Games. They're best known for the first person shooter series called The Kill Zone. Killzone was a pretty successful series, but after working on the franchise for over 10 years, the design team wanted to go in a completely different direction with a new IP. Thus, Horizon Zero Dawn was born. So there was definitely an attempt to give the player a good amount of control options in Horizon, but there are also some problems. For one, there are no customizable controls in Horizon. This is kind of bad, considering how fast you have to be during combat. Horizon is also one of those games where they try to utilize every single button on the controller, even R3 and L3. Sure, you could probably get away with just pressing a few buttons after the initial tutorial level, but eventually you will have to press every button at least once. You jump with the X button, press circle to dodge, and triangle is used to interact. R1 is used for melee attacks, and the left trigger and right trigger L2 and R2 are used for aiming and firing your weapons. The directional pad is used to cycle through tools, make traps, and use your healing items. You move with the left stick and aim with the right stick. R3 lets you use focus mode, which lets you access advanced hologram technology. In this mode, you can pinpoint enemy weaknesses and find clues, basically things you couldn't normally see. It's similar to detective mode in the Arkham Asylum games. The touchpad lets you open the main menu and you can bypass a lot of buttons by going to the main menu. You can access your inventory, your objectives, and the map. But I did still have to use the remappable control options built into the PlayStation 4. Horizon's controls were just too specific for me. The biggest problem I had with the controls had to do with the way the aim assist feature worked. It didn't work at all. It honestly seemed like a pointless feature because I couldn't see any difference with it on. No matter what I did, no matter where I aimed my bow, unless it was dead on, there was no help. I even looked back in the options menu to make sure the aim assist was even on, and nope, there was no big difference. I tried to look it up online and see if other players saw a difference when they put aim assist on. The best I could find is that it wasn't a full aim assist feature, as in it didn't automatically lock on to nearby enemies. Instead, it just slightly altered the course of your arrows to hit the general vicinity of an enemy, but I honestly didn't even notice that. Without the aim assist working correctly, it's going to be difficult for a lot of disabled gamers with fine motor skill impairments. It's really unfortunate, and I hope that Guerrilla Games patches it in later, but we'll see. Thankfully, the difficulty modes they offer in Horizon make up for the lack of control options. Horizon has four modes to choose from. Easy, normal, hard, and very hard. I definitely recommend any disabled gamer with fine motor skills to play on easy mode. It's essential, it was for me. Easy mode lets you focus on the story and exploration. Yes, without the aim assist you'll still have trouble shooting enemies, but you'll have more health and melee attacks will kill most enemies in just a few hits. They implemented a similar mode in the third entry in the Mass Effect series, and I think it works great in Horizon. Gamers with hearing impairments shouldn't have any trouble playing Horizon. There are subtitles you can turn on the options menu with a variety of languages to choose from. The subtitles are easy to read and there weren't any noticeable inconsistencies with the dialogue. The music in Horizon is nice and it's appropriate for the nature environment, but I don't think any of the sound effects are important to the atmosphere or the combat. You can change the individual sound levels in the options menu. This includes the volume for sound effects, music, and dialogue. Visually speaking, Horizon is very bright, but if you'd like for more brightness, there's an option to change that. The HUD can get kind of cluttered, especially when you're using the focus ability, but you can turn the HUD off if you want. Now, colorblind players may have some trouble finding weak points on robotic enemies, because sometimes they're distinguished by certain colors, like red and yellow. Hitting the weak points aren't the only ways to kill enemies, though. The story in Horizon Zero Dawn was okay. I wasn't really into it. 
it had a really unique cyberpunk world, but that's the thing. I wanted to know more about that world and the origins of why there were roaming robot animals everywhere. But the story didn't really focus on that. I mean, eventually it did, but you'll mostly just be doing side quests for different tribes. Hey, but at its best, Horizon had some really fun gameplay that reminded me of the really good parts of the Tomb Raider reboot. One big compliment I have to give the game is how amazing the graphics look. Everything is beautiful to look at. I haven't seen graphics this good since Uncharted 4 and maybe Witcher 3. Horizon Zero Dawn was made on the new game engine called Decima, and holy crap is it awesome to look at. I think it's really impressive just because of how big the game is and how many characters you'll be interacting with. Character models and RPGs never get this much attention to detail, but you can tell they put everything into this. Honestly, it's making me even more excited about future games that are going to be made on the Decima game engine. <clears throat> Death Stranding. Anyway, Horizon Zero Dawn is a really well-made game, and as far as open-world games go, you could do a lot worse. Some of the control options are lacking in the game, and Guerrilla Games, if you're listening, please fix the aim assists in Horizon. Your disabled gamers really need this. Alright guys, tell me what you think about Horizon in the comment section below. Do you like the gameplay? What do you think of the graphics? Let me know if there's other similar games you want me to review. And as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you later.